apologize for the lack of uploads this week, but um, there is good reason. Uh, I went back to work this week, and things have been really crazy at work, and honestly the past two days, three days, uh, I've come back and I'm just like really tired and don't really feel like recording anything, and just like... Honestly, I was being very lazy. Um, I, I want to be honest with you guys always. And if I ever take an extended leave um, from the channel, I will be sure to let everyone know before I do. Um, but anyways, yeah. So um, I'm going to record this tonight, uh, this Thursday night. Um, and probably won't upload until tomorrow the afternoon, um, but the topic of the video is uh, Nintendo DS Game Collection. Oh, that's pretty cool, the reflection. In Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ah, that's pretty cool. This is the original DS. <laughs> I lost the stylus for it. And I really don't have that many games for it. I didn't play it that much. But the games I do have are very popular. So, without further ado, I'm just going to set that down there. First, saving it for the end. Oh, you know what? Nah, we'll go ahead and show it. Super Mario 64 DS Edition. This game is um, so fun. Uh, it's the exact, oh, well no, I won't say exact same version, but it is the uh, remake of Super Mario 64, which is a classic, classic Nintendo 64 game. Um, and in the remake, you can play as Luigi and Wario, and sometimes get Yoshi and ride them around and stuff. Uh, and there are some extra uh, mini games you can play, and it was they did a really good job with this game. I think it was available at launch. Uh, everyone had this game. If you had a DS, you had Super Mario 64, just because it only made sense. You know what I mean? You can't respond to me. I don't know why I said you know what I mean. Anyways. Um, so. Yeah. This is this is definitely my best game uh, for the DS. I can pick it up and play it right now and be just addicted to it. So. <sighs> Next is... Brain Boost Beta Wave, and I don't think I've actually ever even played this game. I think I got it for Christmas when I when I was like, mm, let's see, I don't know when the DS first came out. I'm going to guess like 2007 or 2008, maybe 2009. I might be like way off here, but I had it at a very young age. Um, so for those of you who know uh, how long it's been, that the DS has been out for. I'm 21 years old and I got it when it launched. So, you do the math. <laughs> um, so, I can't really tell you much about this game, but it's a part of the collection. So, we'll tap on it. We'll give it a show and we'll move on. Uh, Pokemon Diamond version. I this was the last uh, generation of Pokemon games that I got, and it was a stretch. Um, 
Honestly, I wish I had all the Pokemon games, to be honest. I don't know why I said that it was a stretch. Uh, I got this when I was, like, 13. So, 14, maybe. Actually, I, I might have been older than that. I, I, I had no shame. Um, I went and picked this one up uh, when it came out. Uh, if... I think, I think when, um, I graduate and get, like, steady income and whatnot, I'm probably gonna get, like, so I love Xbox and I love my, uh, Xbox One, but honestly, competitive, like, competitive gaming is getting more and more old, um, I just kinda wanna relax and play single player games and honestly Nintendo has the best single player games out of uh, out of the big three in my opinion like I just want to sit down and not really care what I'm doing play maybe some Super Mario or some Zelda and just kind of grind you know play by myself so uh, that was a little side rant I don't know where that came from but Pokemon Diamond my opinion, one of the best turn-based strategy games and very underrated. Advanced Wars Dual Strike. So, um, anyone who has played Advanced Wars, I think this was, this, no, this was the third game, I think. I think I, I think there was Advanced Wars and then Advanced Wars 2, and then I think this was the third one. And it's just your basic by turn strategy game um, where it's just I mean rock paper scissors type uh, gameplay and it, there's a lot of unique characters you could use something like oh man um, let me see two to eight players could play at once doesn't say but it was a lot of fun I think I want to I want to take a guess and say that there was like 20 usable characters you know what I might play this like tomorrow like this game is so much fun and I love strategy games like I said competitive gaming is getting old and I just kind of want to like sit back and relax and play some freaking advanced wars right now but I gotta get to bed soon so we'll save it for tomorrow Sorry if that was loud. Next, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is, um, you know what, I'm just going to read the back of it because I don't really know how to explain Animal Crossing. Get ready to start a new life. Whether you want to decorate your home, catch bugs or fish, join in on special events, or just chat with there's always plenty to do, and now you can share the good times with friends near and far using either local wireless or Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. It's basically like a cartoony Sims with animals. It's a lot of fun. Uh, really childish. Uh, some childish humor. It's rated E for everyone. So. If you haven't played Animal Crossing and don't know what it is, um, just look it up. I guess that's the only thing I can really say. Zoo Tycoon. This game I did not play a lot of. Um, I don't really know why. I love Tycoon games, and this was, I think, the whole reason I got this was because I was playing Roller Coaster Tycoon on the computer. And I loved that game so much, and I wanted to branch out and play other Tycoon games. And when I got this, I think I just, like, tried to compare it to, um, Zoo Tycoon. Or, I mean, excuse me, I tried to compare it to Roller Coaster Tycoon, and it just wasn't, I mean, uh, like, the Lord himself could have made a, a Tycoon game, and I wouldn't have enjoyed it, because I liked it. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 that much. So, if I remember correctly, it was fun. I just didn't like it as much. 
Mario Bros. This was one of the newer, uh, one of the, one of the uh, like better first like better graphic versions of um, Super Mario, like the classic side scroller Super Mario. Um, I think the one before this, what it would have been for Game Boy Advance. I'm sure there was probably a pretty good graphically version of actually probably not this is probably like one of the first like good looking Super Mario Brother games yeah which would explain the new um, run jump and stomp your way through raging volcanoes tropical islands snow capped peaks and unimaginable challenges lots of fun guys Last but not least, Kirby Super Squad. Oh no, Squeak Squad. <laughs> These games, I, they're so old, I don't even remember. Let's see if I can find a year on this. Yeah, 2006. Oh my god, I was way off. The DS has been out for 10 years.